If you want to take your presentation slides up to the next level, then this step-by-step -step tutorial will show you how to use the Section Zoom tool to help add more impact to your presentations. So picture this. In PowerPoint, you've created a main slide that headlines the points you plan to cover, for example, an agenda slide. You then ask your audience which headline they want to cover first. You click on the headline they've chosen and jump to the slides specifically in that section before returning back to the main slide. This means you can go through your presentation in any order or even choose to skip parts that aren't relevant to your audience. Well, the section zoom feature in PowerPoint allows you to present your content in this non-linear way. This creates a more interactive feel to your slides and will help you tailor your presentation specifically to your audience. There is one thing to note, however, and that is that the full Zoom feature is only available in Microsoft 365 and PowerPoint version 2019 onwards. So let's get started. Once your slides are created, you need to set up sections. So to do this, right click between the slides where you want the section to start. So my first section here will be between slide one and two. So right click in between and add section. It automatically gives the name untitled section, so you just need to give the section an, a name and then click rename. And you can see the section name is here. Repeat the process for all the sections that you want to insert. Once complete, go back into your main slide where you want to include the section zoom links. So in our example, it's in slide one here. Click on the insert tab on the ribbon, go across to the links section, click on zoom, and then you have an option for section zoom. Now, just a quick note here that if you're using PowerPoint version 2019, you need to click on insert and then go to, then click on links and then zoom and section zoom. It's laid out slightly differently on the ribbon. You'll now see a list of your sections that you've just named. So you just choose the sections that you want to include on the Zoom slide. So we want section two, three, and four, and click insert. The thumbnail of the first slide of each chosen section will now appear in this slide. As you can see, they appear on top of each other and you re can reposition them and resize them as you wish. Click on any of the images that you've just inserted and you'll see a Zoom tab appear on the ribbon. This is where all of the Zoom formatting options are located. So over on the far left hand side, you have one called Zoom options. And in here, there is the return to Zoom box, which is automatically ticked by default. This means that when you're in the slideshow, it will automatically return to this main slide after the final slide in the section you're presenting. So if we just press F5 here to view the slideshow, so we'll click on this first box here for webinars. It zooms into that particular section. plays through the slides for that section and then at the end of the slide it automatically returns back to this main slide and the same for the other two sections as well. The zoom options section here also gives you the chance to remove the zoom transition if you want to and you, you can also change the length of the transition as well um, by clicking the up and down arrows here. These are, these are in seconds. In our example here we're using the actual thumbnails of the first slide of each section. If you don't want to do that you can actually change the image. So to do that if you click into the image you want to change go to the zoom tab on the ribbon and over on the left hand side go to change image. You can then choose an image from uh, that's saved on your computer. You can go to stock images, online images or icons. Again just to note that if you're using PowerPoint version 2019 you don't actually have the option of the stock images, so you just have these three options here. So in this example, I'll change this to an icon just to show you what it looks like. So you can see now, this is what we're now using for this particular one. So now if we go into the slideshow, you can see that it's taken this icon. And again, it just works its way through and at the end, it will go back to the main slide. If you want to change the image back, at any time, then just click on the image you want to change back, go to the zoom tab on the ribbon, over to the far left, change image and reset image. And that will take it back to the original image. So this is fine when your background is a solid color or just plain white, 
But what happens when you have a background that's slightly more detailed and your thumbnail images or the images you're using look a bit odd against the background? I'll show you now in this example here. So this, this slide is a, a desk background. And if we quickly insert the links again, the sections that we want, and we'll just place them here. It kind of looks a bit odd now with the, the coloured boxes. So there is a way of making these transparent. And that is if you click into the image, go up to the zoom tab on the ribbon. And in this middle section here, the zoom styles, there is a button called zoom background. If you click on there, it basically renders the background transparent. So it looks slightly better, as you can see. And if at any time you want to change them back again, click on the image, go to zoom and click on zoom background again and it will take off the highlight. Now obviously you can be as creative as you want to. Having the zoom link images you can have them different sizes, you can rotate them or you can use the other options that are under the zoom styles with the different frames, the borders, the effects, the reflections and shadows etc. However, do remember that you don't want the slide to be too distracting. So we go back to our main slide here and you'll notice that when you click on one of the images and go to the zoom tab on the ribbon, you will now see the slide numbers contained in each of the sections. So this webinar section, you have slides two to five, the in company is six to 10, and the one to one is 11 to 15. You'll also notice there's an arrow, a back arrow here. This means that the return to zoom is, is switched on for each of these sections. So you get to the end of that particular section and it comes back to this, this slide. If at any time you want to make changes to the actual sections themselves, then if you right click on the section name here, an, a menu will appear and you can rename it, you can remove it, you can move them up and down, you can remove, all, you can remove the section and all the slides within it. This is how you make the changes to each section. Do remember that any changes you make to these sections will automatically be reflected in the main slide here if the section is included in the zoom link. Also, if we click here and go into zoom, you'll see the web webinars is slides two to five. If you then add any more images or remove any, so let's just move this one up to here and go back into that main slide, click on zoom. You'll see this now says two to six and in company is seven to 10. So it automatically changes within each section on the zoom slide. And lastly, if you actually delete a section, if we just remove this section here, remember to remove the image on the main slide, otherwise you will have this broken link icon and it will be broken. So now we've done this, let's quickly have a look and see what this looks like. Back to the main slide. If we go to in company and again, and work our way through each slide in the section and it goes back to the main slide and then the final section opens up that these slides and at the end goes back to the main section again so you can see it's all working if you want to check the zoom links are working correctly at any time all you need to do is just press f5 to view the slideshow so now you're confident with the layout of your slides it's time to move on to the actual delivery of your presentation now, if you or your team would like help with this, please do get in touch and ask about our one and two day virtual presentation skills masterclasses by emailing info at onyourfeet.ie. I hope you found this tutorial helpful and thanks for watching.